Welcome to another episode of Vet Talk. I'm Brother Vincent. I'm an Army veteran. And today we will be talking about the vitamin D supplementation associated with lowering suicide rate in military veterans. But before we get into that, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You can find more content for Vet Talk on Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn, and Reddit for more content. And to all veterans who love to share your stories or resource for veterans and non-veterans who love to share your resource for veterans, please feel free to contact me ASAP so we can schedule a meeting. So I just want to put out a quick disclaimer. I am not a medical professional. I'm just a veteran who loves to help other veterans with information that I personally use. And I would advise you to seek help from your doctor if you're experiencing anything I state in this video. And also, please check out Dr. Janine Ridgeway on Facebook and Instagram on Thursdays for her Thriving Thursdays, where she will be giving more information on this topic about vitamin D. You can also check out her video with Vet Talk on YouTube, which has her links to her doctor office and products. So the question I have for you veterans out there, are you tired of feeling achy? Are you tired of feeling down lately? You may be low in vitamin D. This essential nutrients keep your bones strong and improve your mental health. But almost one in four U.S. adults are deficient. Symptoms vary, but if you're experiencing fatigue, bone pain, and mood changes, it is time to see your doctor. Luckily, there are ways to increase your vitamin D levels. Eat foods like fatty fish, egg yolks, vitamin D, fortified cereals, and milk. Get outside for a few minutes each day to soak up some sun. Don't forget to use sunscreen and consider taking a vitamin D supplement, especially if you have darker skin and certain health conditions. Stay healthy and strong with enough vitamin D. So also I wanted to say this, that Dr. Janine Ridgeway, again, man, she sell all natural products that has these things in it. So again, please get with Dr. Janine Ridgeway. And if you don't trust using somebody that you don't know, then get in touch with somebody that can help you ensure that you get whole food vitamins, not those vitamins that you can get from Walmart. Make sure that you get whole food vitamins, whole food vitamins. So what I want to do also along with telling you this, I want to show you what I'm, where I'm getting this valuable information so that you can have a clear understanding of what's going on. Because what I found out from Dr. Janine Ridgeway um, she sent me an article that was talking about how they did a study and they found out that vitamin D supplement has helped lower the suicide rate in military veterans. And I thought that was something that was amazing because as a veteran, a lot of times I've been faced with these situations to where I've been feeling down and, you know, just having certain mental issues. And a lot of times, you know, um, as a Christian, sometimes, you know, if you hit around teaching, people can teach you that is a demon or, you know, something, you know, um, paranormal going on in your life. Um, if you're a person that goes to the VA, they may tell you that you may need to take different medications because of this. And I'm a veteran who can attest that those medications don't always work for everybody because I'm one of those people with a strong will. And I've tried some of the VA medication and all it did for me was it made things worse. My body was fighting against it. So now instead of having, I would say, you know, the medication helped me, it made me worse. And I went from a normal veteran with normal issues to I started feeling like a paranoid schizophrenia person, started feeling like I wanted to harm other people. Um, I never had true issues of harming myself since I was a little kid, but I did struggle with harming others. So I know that we talk a lot about the 22 to zero veterans. And I think a lot of times it could be because of their vitamin D levels. And the only way to know that is you have to go down to any healthcare physician and ensure that they are testing you for these things. Because one of the things that I'm learning is that there are specific tests for a lot of these different things. And the way I learned that was Dr. Janine Ridgeway, because she, along with other doctors, are able to test for these things. But if you're going to your doctor and you're getting normal blood work, a lot of times I'm finding out that 
they don't tell you that you are at risk for low vitamin D or different things. They don't always give you all of the prop information that you need to know. And if you want to know more about that, again, you can go look at my video, which I'm going to have down in the description box, or that's going to come across the YouTube feed and point you to that video in the beginning of this video so that you can go to her video where she talks about these things, because this is information that I believe is so important that veterans hear, because I think a lot of the issues that we're facing are we are having could be resolved if we just had the right information or the right sources to help us with this. And that's why I wanted to introduce everybody to Dr. Janine, because she's one of the people that I trust with my own life. For a long time, I didn't trust doctors. I didn't like them. I didn't believe in them. I had no faith in them because of the things that happened to me when I took Booster Par. That's what the um medication is called. I was taking that and it was for paranoid schizophrenia again. And I was given that by the VA because I kept telling them about the things that I was going through and the things that I had been through while I was deployed. You know, I told them about the incident in Cuba where I had a detainee hang himself. I told them about route Jeep. I told them about the, you know, the countless of times I almost died in Afghanistan. And because of me telling them that they asked me how I felt about it. And I told them that, you know, it didn't make me feel any kind of way because I knew of people who went through more than me. And I guess the doctor had a hard time understanding how is it that I wasn't too troubled by this. And they started recommending medications for me to take. And I started taking the medications that I would prescribe because as a veteran, we are told that we are, we are giving medications, So we take them and we don't look to find out what symptoms with side side effects or anything these medications may cause and then our issues sometimes get worse they that may not be all veterans cases but for me that was what the case was after going through multiple counseling sessions giving my life back to the lord and different things i started learning more information when i went back and i looked at the dvd pharma codes i learned a lot about that learned a lot from era man one two three i'm dr janine so i started getting information that started help helping me with different things that were going on in my life and understanding what I needed to do to get better because with just going down to the VA and taking what they had, I wasn't getting any better. I was getting worse. I was gaining more weight. I became more lazy. I was feeling more driven to do more drugs, you know, taking self drugs instead of sometimes taking the medication that the VA was giving me. I was like, you know what? Just let me keep selling high grade marijuana so I can smoke high grade marijuana. So I got into that. I got into, you know, a number of other drugs to try to, you know, help myself out. And again, I got worse all because I made choices and decisions. But on top of that, I was taking certain things and certain things were prescribed to me that was not helping me. So I just really want to get this information out to my veterans out there so that you can get the proper help that you need. Because a lot of times your help is just information away from you. It's just right there. It's just the information, the lack thereof. So I want to real quick show you this um, article that was done by Nebraska University and they show the symptoms of those who have low vitamin D. And you can see right here that the symptoms are fatigue, not sleeping well, bone pain and aches, depression or feeling of sadness, hair loss, muscle weakness, loss of appetite, getting sick more easily, and pale skin. And I pray that this information would help you, you know, because again, it's just a veteran passing information on to other veterans. So what I would advise you to do is, you know, um, talk to your physician. And if you don't have one that you feel is going to help you and that's there for you, then please, man, get with someone like Dr. Janine Ridgeway. And, you know, there are other doctors out there, but I'm just giving you the information that I have to pass along. And I just really want to show, you know, again, another article so that you can see that there's plenty of information out there to show you what's going on and what they're finding. Because again, like I said, sometimes you're just one, you know, article away from your health being better or one article away from 
you know what I'm saying, your health deteriorating and you falling apart and, you know, the suicide rate going up and just everything, man. And right here, you can see the biggest thing that they said right here in this article, conclusion, vitamin D supplementation was associated with the risk of suicide attempt and self-harm in veterans, especially in veterans with low blood serum levels and black veterans. So again, I just pray that this information would be enough to help you start on a path towards a better health and that you would get the help that you need. So as always, man, this has been another episode with your boy, brother Vince with Vet Talk. My good people, Vet Talk out.